I press the like that. What we're trying to do here is create kind of a scripting feature. So if you're going out for um, practice, you can script it beforehand. This is man a manual script. So you press the gold button on the bottom. I don't recommend you do the video for this. So you tap you you take that off. It's a practice session and you are going to be on your practice field. You're going to have the pro post up. You can change the date later cuz I don't I don't think we can go into the future, so don't worry about that. And all this information like wind speed and wind direction that can be done at a different time. Okay. All right. Whoever your first kicker is, we're just going to start at the top. So you tell me where your first kick would go. Uh, ball spotted left hash five yard line. Okay. So the black line is the line of scrimmage and that's on the five and the distance is really seven and a half. So the distance says uh, 23, it rounds up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All I would do here is press hit and put in dummy data. You can either do it like this or your dummy data can be down here. It doesn't matter. Second kick, would it be to the first, this top guy, or would it be to a, a, a second kicker? Second kicker. All right. Would he kick from the same spot? Yep. Great. It's already in there. That 23 left, as you can see on the top right. Yep. Just throwing some dummy data. Okay, next, who would what who's the next kicker? It'd be back to the first guy. Okay. And we need to change your starting position. Uh left middle 10. Great. So left middle 10, but how do I get there? I have to press start on the bottom center and I'm backing it up until that black line is on the 10 yard line. Gotcha. And just pressed hit, throw in a dummy data. Next kicker in the same spot. Yep. Boom. All you do is press hit. There's your dummy data. Okay. Perfect. Who's the next kicker? It would be back to the first guy. Okay. And where would that kick come from? Middle 15. Okay. So we'll go middle. Ball's spot on the 15. Sorry. There you go. There's some dummy data. Next. And then Same kicker thing. over to the next guy. Yep. All right. So here you go. I'm going to press that top left button. I'm pressing the bottom left button to kind of go through it. Here's kicker number one, 23 left. Kicker number two, 23 left. Kicker number three, 28 left. Kicker number four, kick number four, 28 left. 15 middle, 15 middle. All right, I'm going to end the session by tapping the top left. I'll press finish. We're done. And I'm just going to close the app because I wonder about my day. Okay. Then you get out, out there. You open the session. You can tap literally on that. What I'm doing is tapping on this um, image. Mm -hmm. Or you can slide down and <clears throat> tap on the kicker. Okay. Got what it. you're going to do, I think the easiest thing to do is you would have a stopwatch in your hand if you didn't have the app. So you'll press stop the stopwatch. You'll press start. Let me know when the ball is snapped. Oh, ball snapped. Okay. Stop. So then I press hit, it. and he actually hit it there, right? Yeah, gotcha. So now, and then you just press next, and you can either just put in, if you want to put, if you have the stopwatch in your left hand, that's fine, and you can just, double click here and then you know you can type in the number that you have on your watch right here's the thing things go very very quickly as you know and so if you want to do op time when you go upstairs you can so let me let me show you this again i'm going to completely kill the app again so you go out there 
you open the session that you'd scripted, you tap here on the screen, and you can either go straight to the stopwatch or you can just tap here at the top that opens up where the ball crosses. So kick one is 23 left. You press next, and all you're doing is just charting where the ball crosses. You can get op time on video, right? Yep. Okay, that's option one. I think that's probably the fastest, most easy thing to do because all you're doing is saying, hey, student assistant, just chart where the ball crossed. However, it can be done. I just recommend practicing it before. Okay, I'm going to kill the app. I know this is redundant, but I open the app. I open the session. I tap here on the screen. And you tap on the watch. Okay. Ball is snapped. Ball is kicked. I press next. And that's where the ball crossed. Okay. When you press the next button, this is where it might confuse people, right? Because it, this comes up and they're like, oh shit, where's the, the timer? It's down. You got to press the timer on the bottom. Gotcha. Yep. And then ball is snapped. Ball is kicked. Next. That's where the ball crossed. Okay. It's going to be your preference. Does this go in order of the way we put it in? So it'll go back and forth in between each kicker. It's Exactly. So kick number one went to kicker num uh, number zero, 20, 23 left. It's already onto his profile. Right. Perfect. So it's already, it's already in there. Okay. That's great. So you, it just depends on what you want, right? I mean, if you've got a stopwatch in your hand and you want to keep doing that, that's fine. Cause you can just double click here when you go upstairs you can and you can and you can change it 1.24 whatever but when we're out there on the field and things are moving quick you know i've been to these camps now and i've, you know, I've been out there where there's i at the san diego state camp he had a 45 kickers and he wanted me to chart nine kicks for each guy in 25 minutes i'm like oh, oh my god so at that time i was like look man all i can give you at this point is just where the ball crossed and it worked right um and we can you can always get off time off of video, just your preference. So kick three, ball crossed, kick four, 28 left. You'll know it on your, you know, it's just whoever the second team guy is. Ball's kicked, ball goes. I didn't put the op time in. Kick three, kick five, excuse me, goes back to kicker number one. 33 middle. You can just move the ball, or if you want to, you can press this refresh button on the bottom. Gotcha. You know, we put in dummy data here. You can just press refresh and then go up, or you can just move your finger. Okay. And then kick six. So to me, I think if you have an if you have an iPad, this just makes it hey man we'll get your op time later right you can do right. it like that and it's all good and so we're, we're here we've got it now we need to end the session i press the top left button if, you know just for purposes of what we're doing now hey here was kick number one just making sure it was yep that's where it crossed kicker to kick two so on and so forth right yep we press end and now you've got your session right here say coach wants it right then and there all right coach here it is here's your spray chart more importantly here's the grid both guys went three of three and i mean they both you know, here's the difference between the guys. Not only did you have their accuracy, their op time, but how close they were to the middle. Don't uh, precision is a little. So I'll just go through precision. Although I think it's, it's a little bit hard for most people. But basically, <clears throat> on the back end, what we're doing is saying, all right, that ball is seven feet right of center. 
but the angle that's actually the angle right here mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll show it in green so that's the precision angle but a lot of guys it just didn't click early on for people so i although i still have it there it's something that i don't really it, it ends up just getting too much in the weeds that that's all i can say you know i mean if for us nerds and kicking nerds like that's cool but you know head coach is like yeah man i i don't get that so we just think it's easier for them to say okay this ball was seven feet right you know, right so anyway um one update you'll have I, I, this should be ready very very soon is i press this top right button to send it and then i press the print button and here's your chart so you'll have your op times if that's something coach wants to see you can print it right away Okay. Um, so I'm able to log into my account on, on my computer to print this stuff out or does it have to be all done on my phone? Like, will it, oh, you can print it. Okay. Easy. Very cool. Um, is there any way when we do these that we could have them separate so I can print these out for each individual player to put in their notebooks? Yeah. So I'll show, I'm about to show you a screen, screenshot of what we're updating. This should be ready by by the time spring ball's uh, ready. Uh, it's going to be this one. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to stop this screen. I'm going to share this screen right here. I think you'll like this. So what we're going to change it to is all right practice number eight here's the date practice number kicker distance op time make and proximity and then so kick number one 25 right middle that one was green and then automatically update it so same day this guy so it's, it's going to be grouped. So when you press the top right button, this just pops up. Okay. And you'll print that out. Awesome. So it's got all of this information already there. So 25 right middle. This guy was green. Then he went 30 right. That was a make. It was blue. So it's just, it's just quicker and easier. Yep. And then, hey, this guy went up. So th that's, that's what this will change into. Okay. You come in here and you're going to press the top right button. You can, you know, email it. Or if you've got a Wi Fi printer, it should be able to say, should be able to pick up the printer. See if my Wi Fi. Yeah, it should be able to pick up a printer if you're on the same Wi Fi. Cool. But otherwise, we haven't built the, um, the online version yet so you'd have to um email it to yourself and then print that, it from there. that's all i did when i was at okay. rice i would just yep. i would do it on my phone and then email it to myself and print it right so then kind of the second piece here on field goal and like where this can be helpful is if i press that bottom right button for stats yep i can press add at the top right and let's say I want to look at, I'm looking at field goal. So I tap field goal here. And I want to look at the practice kicks. And I'm going to select Brant and I'm going to yeah. select James, right? And whatever I can, whoever many kickers there are. I'll share this chart with the team so that they can see it. I'll show you here what that looks like in a second. All right, so I'm just going to press create. So now do you see when I, I'm going to go here to my profile. 
I'm going to go back to stats. There's something that says personal. This is something that's on your device only if you create a chart. But all the coach Bankins and all the coaches and players who are on the app, they just press team and they can see what you made. And that automatically combines it for me. Correct. So you could say um, camp week one. Okay. You tap on the, we, we, well, the way we got here is we tapped on this little chart. Yep. And I'm going to select the date range as, you know, Very camp cool. was July 1st. Camp week one was July 1st and whatever. It finished on July 10th. July 12th. Okay. And it's only going to pull – James didn't kick that week, but Brant went down from 72 kicks to 54. I'm just going to press save. I'm going to open it back up. Do you see how there's dots here at the top right? I do, yep. So watch this. You can have this chart that says, okay, here's everybody's field goal percentage by distance, if that's what you want to show. Hey, here's everybody's – this is going to be everybody's scatter chart. This is everybody's spray chart. So although you want to comb you wanted to like kind of show between two guys, hey, this is just over overall what it looks like. And here is the total amount of kicks. So I'm going to go back. I think most people would want to just see, hey, who's the head to head if we're having a competition, David yep. Kemp, whoever. There it goes. Camp week, camp week one. Here's the kicks, accuracy, operation time, proximity to the middle, and precision. And, and Bankins and everyone can see that. Awesome. That's great. So that's – so on a day-to-day -day when you need to print it out and show coach, you know, you're having special teams meeting, you just click the session – they're, if they want to look on their iPad, they're swiping over or they're looking down, whatever. But for m most purposes, we're going to be old school and we're going to print it out. Yeah. We'll press that button and then it'll – by the time we get to camp, it'll have the new the new stuff. Cool. Very the, cool. One final, the one final piece that I'll show you is that, okay, so now you want to have this information on your computer. All you do is you come down – to the very bottom of the chart that you created. So what I did is I press, I'll just go over here to profile. You press stats on the bottom left. Mm -hmm. All right, so stats on the bottom left. I pressed team because that's where I saved this camp week one, July 1st to July 12th. I can click anywhere on that um, image. And in order to get it on your computer, you scroll to the bottom. You export the chart, and then I need to hold it correctly. You'll have your raw data, and you'll you can bring that into your um, you can you can mail it you can email it to yourself, and it's all your Excel. It's going to be exactly what you've seen: kicker name, kicker anything that you've done in Excel before. It's likely already populated. Okay. Awesome. So I know that's a lot. I know that's a kind of a lot there, but I just wanted to show you from the time you scripted to the time you actually give something to your coach or you're giving it to your assistant or whoever, you guys all have this web of info and where to grab the info, data entry and how to manipulate it. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. Because I, like I said, I used it a, a lot at Rice. We used it every day. Um I know that was two years ago, so there's probably some updates to it, but I feel pretty good about yeah. the whole thing. It was the scripting part was the part where I think that's going to save us a lot of time trying on the field, at least not having to add new stuff. I can just roll through it. Exactly. I mean, you're not going to have to go click and all the, do all that crap. No way. We're, 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 that was a very good update that we got from feedback from the first year of people really using it. Yeah, that, that'll be good. The other stuff I'm I feel good with. We're gonna use it tomorrow. We have a uh, 
we got an OTA practice. So, um, fantastic. Going to give it a shot tomorrow, script it out in the morning, and then go out there and get it done. Love it. <clears throat> Good.